in structures. Tackler shell wall resists a very high lateral load, so it can withstand heavy wind load and seismic forces due to their uniform geometry. Tackler shell wall can as well maintain torsional stability, increase mm. stiffness to guide against lateral deflection. In this video, we will model circular shell wall in portal structure. Generate it through multi-story, analyze and design successfully. Let's start. So, here is the model we are going to be using in this presentation for the circular shear wall design successfully. And then we populate it all through this five floor. Okay, so now we have to navigate to the story one first and then we get to the plan view of that story using this provision. All right, so now we will start to model the shear wall, but we did a circular grid line like this. Okay, so to perfectly do this circular grid line, we use AutoCAD. All right, I will take you through step by step on how to do that. Just stick to the video. Let's go to AutoCAD. So I will navigate to AutoCAD, and then when you get to AutoCAD, before you start to draw the grid lines, you have to ensure that you set a layer. All right, name grid line. All right, just like this. Give the layer name just like this okay after which navigate to the line option picked it and then you have to now start to do draw your grid line so this grid line i'm drawing is going to represent the radius of the circular shear wall so i'm going to give sorry the diameter i'm going to give it uh three meters which is three thousand millimeters enter just like this okay so i will just make sure that i put it in a position that i wish okay just like this all right so after which i want to have the green line populated circular okay so for me to do that i will get this line selected i come to modify array in this provision polar array so i pick the center point of the original line i come to this provisions i key in the number of it i need 18 right here and i clicked to have it populate just like this okay so after which this is ready to be taken to proto structure i will navigate to w on the keyboard hit on the w key on the keyboard just like this and enter to have this right block window then click in this provisions to navigate to the provision where you actually save these uh circular grid lines okay so i will just save it as this name circular one right just like this okay then the file of type is going to be dxf i click on save option okay so that have been saved on my desktop i will now have to navigate to product structure all right then i get to the building set out i click on the dxf import so in the import dialog i click on load and then i navigate to the circular one i select it right here click on open all right so i have it open right here i click on import and yes option yes option so this is going to load the circular grid lines into product structure successfully here we go i click on closed option so here is the circular grid line successfully we proceed to draw other grid lines here that will enable us to actually model the circular shower navigate to the modeling tab click on this grid option and then in the grid option we use this option of curve axis insertion this one okay after which i'll pick this first point and then I pick the second point, which is this provision. And then I move my hands to have a radius. So I will press F2 on the keyboard so I can be able to key in the radius. So we are looking at 3000. So 3000 as diameter, the radius is going to be 1500. That is half of 3000. All right. I enter to have my radius just like this. I can close this dialog now. So here is. The grid line that form actually my radius i'll select on this come to mirror option pick that so i pick the first point i pick the second point i click on ok to have that line mirrored successfully so 
I've mirrored that, I've mirrored that grid line successfully. You can see the two grid lines right here, all right? Then I proceed to the modeling type. I pick on the grid line again. I want to have an additional grid line. Okay, I hold the control key to have a straight line. I want to have another additional grid line here. So I close this. I want to be extending this grid line. I want to extend it, right click, and then use this stretched axis options. So I zoom closely. I want to pick it from this point and then I stretch it to this end. The same thing with this. Okay. I can see stretch axis option here. I zoom closely, picked it right there, and move it here successfully. At this point, we want to start to model the shear wall. Okay, now we navigate to the shear wall options, click on that. Then I will use the, the default shear wall uh, dimensions right here. Okay, so I'll start to model. I want to actually start from this point. I pick that point, I pick this point. You always have this warning. Click on yes options. I picked again to this point. Yes option. So I continue to pick from point to point along the circular grid line. Just like this. Just like this. So I will also move this up to this point. All right. I will stop it. Here, yeah, then I continue from this side to this point. Yes, option. Up X where, which is this next point. I'm going to stop. Stop. Okay, I'm going to stop here now. So this provision is going to be an entrance into the uh into the circular shear wall. An entrance. All right. So I'll close this dialog. Having closed that dialog, so now I want to make this a single wall. Okay, so I'll select the first one, hold the control key, and select multiple of the shear walls I've drawn so far, just like this. So I will have to select all. Okay, having selected it, I use the merge particle member option. Click on that. So you can see you have merged this. So this have actually from a circular shear wall. In the same method, you can model a kind of a curve or uh, shear wall successfully. All right, let's go to 3D and see what we have. So we have to minimize this. Navigate to 3D using that provision. So this is what we have. This is the new shear wall we are modeling right here. Okay, so you notice that we have a first concrete slab right here. So there is no opening. So we need to create an opening right here. So let's navigate to the plan view of story one as well. So this provision, good. Now, for us to create an opening, you will need to navigate to the modeling tab, use these options, click on that. And then over here, select circular, all right? Select circular. Then we now have to uh, pick at this point and then stretch to your hand pick at the center point stretch the hand to the end of this shear wall and click so that has created a cycle an opening through the reinforced concrete slab so now let's see what is there navigate to the 3d all right so let's move to that provisions you can see that this provision is opened all right so you are not actually seeing this uh very well so I can navigate to the save option to save this model. Go to the building set out. Click on this layer and color set it. Then scroll down to where you have slab options and then slab ash. Change this ash to more darker and then click on the OK option. So you have this. So you can now see that this have actually opened successfully. All right. So now we proceed. Let's see how we can populate this all through the story so in doing that you will need to navigate to the populated story which is the story where you have the shower wall. okay we are on this story so what you do select the shower wall itself and as well you need to select the open so hold the control key on the keyboard and select the opening that we created this one 
All right, so having selected it, navigate to the Stories options, Story Operations, and then Generate Story. So now we are going to target Story 2 up to Story 6. Okay, so hold the Shift key and press that to have that selected, just like this. After which you click on the OK option, and then Yes option. So you can see over here it is populated successfully. I will just have to click on cancel right here. Then if you navigate to the 3D, you can see. So here is the shower that we just created right away all through this multi-story successfully. Alright, so if you notice this one has a reinforced concrete, circular reinforced concrete a slab on, on the top right there. So how do you figure that out? So what you do first, you have to navigate the gray lines to the top story, which is the story six right here. Then you navigate to the plan view of that story. So at the plan view of this story, you just have to proceed to uh, modeling tab and then you will use this uh, cycle option. Pick at this point and take it to the edge of this uh, provision and click to create a cycle right there this is called slab line okay we call it slab line so click on the slab itself and then give it a thickness of 50 millimeters thickness right there then for the load and i'll proceed provide two here and then this provision can provide three right here so come to general and then use pick close options this one and then pick the slab line you created to have the slab placed just like this you can see so now if you navigate to the 3d you can see that we have be able to cover the top of the circular shear wall with a reinforced concrete circular slab right here you can see all right so this is how to model this type of uh shear wall successfully using protest structure so how about the analysis aspect of it you can still analyze this model okay and it will pass analysis successfully so at first you need to check to ensure the model is loaded successfully if you come to these provisions of load then you'll be able to move this grid line to any of these stories right here and then click on this load editor you can see that this uh, circular slab is properly loaded and you can see the shear walls successfully right there okay so click on the ok option from these provisions and then you cannot proceed to analysis and then click on the building analysis analysis right there and then use building analysis option would you want to design any member proceed building analysis so give the program some seconds to analyze this model so we see how the shear wall i mean the circular shear wall is being designed successfully so building analysis is completed successfully and then we have ready to drift satisfies limit in both directions one and two successfully click on the ok option and then you click on the closed option right here so we have analyzed this model we can now proceed to design the structural element that consists of this uh, structure successfully so let's see how to design one of the shear wall right here if i select one uh, this particular shear wall i can click on this section design so we will have this dialog so here is the shear wall and the reinforcement arrangement all right so you can click on interactive design right here and then you will wait a minute you can see we have 38 h12 okay that's it 38 h12 uh, of the reinforcement generated in the shower click on the okay options all right so reinforcement is generated successfully you can also use these options of rebar layout to create additional containment if you wish but for the circular shear or the reinforcement has been designed successfully all right click on ok option and then you can proceed to design the rest of the structural element okay but this has actually demonstrated how you can be able to model and as well analyze and design a circular shear wall using protest structure successfully do not forget to like this presentation do not also forget to subscribe to our channel of freezing drop your comment in the comment section if you have any question also drop it in the comment section if this video has helped you in any way also drop it let us know in the comment section 
Okay, so we are also inviting you to join our masterclass in Proto Structure. You can reach to us through the link in the description of this video. Stay connected until we see in the next presentation. Have a great day and bye for now.